So I figured I'd make this quick video here to uh, help anybody out who's having issues with the uh, controls in the earlier Armored Core games. So uh, these games don't use the analog stick. Uh, they use the D-pad. Uh, it's like tank controls. And then um, you strafe with the shoulders normally. However, um, I have it set up to where the camera is controlled by the face buttons and uh, all the movement is controlled by the D-pad. So that gets you most of the way there. Um, what I discovered though is that it's not as uh, refined as I'd like. So um, I wanted to try mapping the, the face buttons to the cardinal directions of the analog stick here. So I created this uh, controller profile here. Um, it's based on the Duck Station one uh, with the menu, however, I don't really care about uh, achievements. So, what I did, um, I repurposed the uh, virtual menu command. Since uh, I only have this one game that I really care about, um, I just did it this way. Basically, I made an action set layer for Armored Core um, to switch on that button there. And um, in here, in the Armored Core action set, I have the right joystick down to the face buttons as a directional pad. Uh, a bit of tweaking uh, turned on analog emulation. Um, these are the defaults and the default dead zone. And it actually feels pretty good. Um, I'm playing some of the missions with it. I'll just show in the test here. And uh, let's see if I can... Activate. There we go. I mean, it's not... Not perfect. But it's a hell of a lot easier than using the uh, R2 and L2 to move the camera up and down. At least uh, I'm performing better. Um, yeah, anyway, if it helps anyone, it should work for uh, the PS2 games as well using PCSX2 um, since you can rebind the controls in those games. Um, and if you use uh, Steam input uh, to launch it on here, which you should be doing, um, then yeah. Should work for all of the uh, tank control style 